This is the Stoic Madrone 4, and at its full retail price of $159, it's already the best value for the money of any tent that I've ever seen. And right now, at the time of recording, you can actually get this tent for the insane price of $95, which is just ridiculous considering the materials, components, and features that you get with this thing. Now, I know it sounds a little bit like I'm trying to sell this to you, but I'm really not. I have no sponsorships and no affiliate links for this tent to send you, nothing like that. I just think it's an incredible deal, and I can't figure out why more people aren't talking about this thing. So let's get into my full review right now. Here's everything you get with the Stoic Madrone 4. Let's start with the stakes. It comes with nine aluminum stakes. As you can tell, they have a point to them, which does make it a little easier to drive in. But as you can also tell, they definitely do bend if you try to drive them into rock or something really hard. And so that's worth knowing. But overall, I would call them pretty good stakes. And here we have two 11 millimeter aluminum poles. These are the only poles with the tent. And then we also have the body of the tent and the rain fly wrapped up in there. We'll talk more about that later. And then over here, we we have the stuff sack, which does have a handle and two compression straps. This is a pretty good stuff sack overall, but I personally prefer one that is zippered like a duffel bag because it makes it easier to pack away. It does have instructions sewn onto the inside of the bag. I would say they're okay, but they don't have pictures, which does make it a little harder to follow overall. And then you also get the strap that comes with it. It has the tent wrapped up in it when it comes from the factory, and that's everything you get. Now let's jump into the setup process for the Stoic Madrone 4. Overall, it's quite an easy process to get this tent up. The first thing you need to do is to assemble the poles and then feed the ends of those poles into the grommets in the corners of the tent. Then you can do the clips. I did find the clips to be a little difficult to fasten, but it's not too bad. Then you can stake in the corners of the tent. Once you finish this, it's time for the rain fly. And while you put this on, you do need to make sure that you fasten the little Velcro straps underneath the rain fly onto the poles. This makes it more accurate. And then you can clip in the bottoms of the rain fly. Next, you just need to stake down the vestibules. And once this is finished, you can move on to the guy lines. There are four guy lines to fasten. And once you're finished with this, then you're all done. Now let's take a little tour of the Stoic Madrone 4. If you walk to the inside of the tent, this is what it looks like. And there are four storage pockets, two on each of the long side. There's also five little loops at the top of the tent that make it possible to hang the provided storage shelf. There is also vestibule space on each side of the tent. And if you really pack the people in here tight, then you can theoretically get five people on the inside, but you're really only gonna be comfortable with two or three people, especially if you want to put gear on the inside. Now the peak height of the tent is rated at 52 inches, but I found it to be actually 54 inches, which you can't fully stand up in. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this tent, starting with pro number one, and that is the build quality. For the price that you pay, it's exceptionally good with this tent. Let's look at the materials. So this tent is made out of a 75D or denier polyester material. That's for the floor, the canopy or body of the tent, and also the rain fly. And the rain fly and the floor are both also coated with a 3000 millimeter polyurethane coating, which does help a lot with waterproofing. And then if you look at the poles that this tent is made out of, it's an 11 millimeter aluminum material, which for a tent at this price range under $200 is really good. Typically you would expect it to be fiberglass, but here we get aluminum, which is more durable, stronger, probably gonna last longer. And so it's just better overall. The stakes of this tent are nothing to write home about, but they are pretty good. And if you just look at the craftsmanship and the way that this tent is put together, for the price that you pay, it's really, really solid. Pro number two is this tent does pretty well in the rain. I tested it in two days of light to moderate rain, and I didn't have any leaks or troubles whatsoever. Now, I should mention that one of the seams I did find could be a potential weakness. If you look at the rain fly on the vestibule in particular, just to the left of the zipper of the vestibule, there is a seam that is not taped on the inside. I did find that all other seams on the rain fly are taped, but this one, for some reason, and just isn't. And so it may be seam sealed. I couldn't find directly on the website whether it was seam sealed at the factory, um, but if it becomes a problem for you, if you decide to buy this tent, then you may just have to seam seal it, which is probably not a huge problem, but that is something to keep in mind. And I will say if I find any issues with it, testing this tent in other weather, then I will update the channel. Another big pro of this tent is that it has two doors and two vestibules, which for a tent in this price range is very rare. And so having two doors alone is a huge benefit because if you buy a really cheap tent, oftentimes it's only going to have a door on one side of the tent, which means if you're lying side by side with other people in there, then you might have to move around or crawl around each other, which is a bit annoying. So having that extra door does make a diff big difference. And having a double vestibule is also pretty cool because that gives you some extra outdoor storage space. And it is just a nice feature that you usually don't see in this budget price range. Now let's talk about the cons because even though I think this is a really good option for a lot of people, it's not for everyone. So con number one is just simply the size of this tent. It is a relatively small tent. It can comfortably accommodate two or three people. However, you cannot stand up in it. So if you want a tent that you can stand up and move around in, or if you need to accommodate more people, then you just simply need to look for something else. I will mention that the Stoic Madrone line does have a six person size version, and that might solve your problem because it is still pretty affordable. Right now it's selling for $165. It does have a peak height of six foot eight, or at least that's what it's rated as, which would give plenty of space for somebody my height to get up and walk around in there. And it can, of course, accommodate more people on the floor as well. And so if you want a tent that's a bit bigger, 
then I think that's something that's worth looking at. I checked and the basic design and the materials that that tin is made out of are virtually the same as this four person version. The second kind I wanted to highlight is that the setup of the vestibules can be a bit finagly. In fact, it seems like you need the ground to be very level and that you need the suspension of the rain fly over the tent to be quite accurate in order to get both vestibules nice and tight on both sides. I had multiple occasions where I had a bit of difficulty getting those vestibules nice and tight and that just causes it to kind of bow in and that takes up some of the space that you would have for storage and it also just doesn't look very good. Now the third con I really hesitate to call a con because it just depends on how much of this thing you really want. I'm talking about ventilation. Now this tent has pretty good ventilation and I would go so far as to say it's a bit above average because it does have these two doors that open with both the door and the vestibule which does allow some airflow to go through the tent which is not something that you get with every tent especially those in this price range which often only have one door and so that's a great thing but if you just look at the mesh paneling on this tent then it has quite a bit less when you compare it with a lot of other tents and so if you like camping in really hot areas and you want to maximize the possible ventilation when you take off the rain fly and just looking at overall mesh coverage then there are tents that do that better than this one and so I thought that was worth mentioning. Okay now who should actually buy the Stoic Madrone for? Well I think the people that should buy this tent meet two criteria. Number one you are a budget tent shopper looking for something under $200. Number two you are somebody who doesn't mind not being able to get up stand and walk around inside of the tent. If you meet both those criteria then I think absolutely this is the tent for you. However if you don't meet one of those criteria or you just don't quite like this tent then and I highly suggest you check out this video I'm going to put up here on the screen. That is a head-to-head -head test, seven different tents that are all under $200 that I recently did, and there are some tents in there that you can stand up, move around in, and so I think you'll find something there that you'll find interesting. I'll see you over on that video. Thanks for watching.